a lot of politics at play here. And let's, uh, let's remind everyone at home here why we are hearing from the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, Katie Telford. The Conservatives want to figure out why the Prime Minister was not made aware of these allegations that were being brought forward about Jonathan Vance, the former Chief of Defence Staff. What we heard from Katie Telford uh, is that they weren't aware. She wasn't aware. The political side was not aware of uh, the details of those uh, of these allegations. Uh, we know that the then um, ombudsman to national defense uh, brought an envelope to Minister Sajjan, the Minister of Defense. Uh, Sajjan did not want to see it, said that it was not appropriate for politics to get involved, and then he then directed uh, the ombudsman to the Privy Council office, the bureaucratic arm of uh, the Prime Minister's office. So, you know, it's very complicated. It's very much in the weeds. But ultimately, what we're hearing today is that um, there was nothing confirmed. There was nothing for sure. They, they did not have all the details. There was a break somewhere. And that is why the, the Prime Minister was not made aware of these allegations, according to Katie Telford. The Conservatives and the opposition parties, they want a head to roll for this. They want either Sajjan's head to go, they want Katie Telford to go. We saw that uh, with a motion uh, in the House of Commons that was voted down, ultimately. Uh, but, you know, this is certainly causing some sort of political damage uh, to the Liberals, Todd. And at the heart of this, of course, we just want to be clear for folks who are following, and it does get confusing, as you say, Major mm -hmm. uh, Kelly Brennan, as you know, at the centre of it, an infantry soldier in the military for 30 years, and she alleges she and Vance had a 20-year secret affair. In fact, she says Vance is the father of two of her children, and she says Vance told her to keep the affair quiet, and there would be consequences if she went public with the allegations. And as you point out, Katie Telford is Justin Trudeau's chief of staff, and she says she didn't mm -hmm. know anything about the nature of the allegation, how serious it was, that it was related to sexual harassment, and only until very recently. Uh, I'm just curious whether that strains credibility, Michelle. It's three years since this uh, allegation was first leveled. Yeah, I think one of the one of the opposition parties in the committee brought made this point. Said if if Sajjan took that envelope with whatever was inside from the ombudsman, that we wouldn't be here today. Uh, it would have gone up the chain. Would have likely ended up in the hands of Katie Telford and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. There were also a number of questions about why did uh, why did uh, Jonathan Vance uh, get what's called at risk pay, basically a bonus. Um, that was signed off, uh, you know, through the Privy Council when there was some rumor floating around about uh, about these allegations. And, you know, what we heard from Katie Telford a number of times was these were rumors. They didn't have concrete details. The, uh, the, you know, the complainants weren't coming forward. Um, and what we also heard from Telford today was she asked, you know, is somebody's is somebody in danger here? Is somebody uh, at risk of being harmed, for example? And the answer that she was told was no. But certainly, I guess you could say uh, a bit of a, and it was brought up by one of the committee members, a bit of lack of curiosity uh, to dig deeper here. Uh, yeah, uh, at the very least. Uh, the other thing that makes this story, you know, disturbing is that Vance became Canada's top soldier, promising to fight mm -hmm. sexual misconduct in the military, and now he finds himself swirling around all of these allegations. And also about Telford, I mean, you, you, you sort of ask yourself the question, does it seem like she and the defense minister, maybe even the prime minister, Michelle, are, are hiding behind bureaucracy and protocol uh, when they should have been asking these questions? You know, inside the Privy Council office, I'll give you a bit of inside baseball here. There's actually a subsection called the machinery of government. Uh, you know, there there are a lot of layers in government. There's actually a part of government that has to figure out how government would or should work. Uh, so, you know, yes, there is a lot of bureaucracy here. And when you bring up the fact that Jonathan Vance was the leader of the Canadian Armed Forces, really responsible for Operation Honor, he left. Art McDonald came in as chief of defense staff. He's currently on leave now, uh, pending uh, an, an investigation on other allegations. Um, really, this has shaken the trust uh, for the Canadian Armed Forces. Where do they go if something is wrong? Who do they trust? Where can they go to? How can they get something resolved and seek justice? 
And the government wants to set up something uh, internally without, you know, having these people have to come to people like you and me, Todd, journalists, uh, to share their stories without fear of reprisal. CTV's Michelle Boyer teeing it up for us. Thanks, Michelle. Appreciate it.